Hello, good evening and welcome to tonight's upload. I am doing a little cheeky Q&A. So, my name's Emma, make sure you go and check out my other videos. Last night you would have seen a gift given with Louise. Hope you liked it. My plan today was to drop the kids off at school and I was going to come back and I was going to put loads of makeup on and I was going to look all pretty. And then I thought, you know what? No. You know what I look like without any makeup on. So I feel that it's perfectly acceptable to sit here in my pyjama bottoms, a mini mouse jumper and do a Q&A without having to put lipstick on and look fancy because we know what I look like when I'm not fancy. So this is how I'm being today. Um, I'm not sure why I'm doing that. I've just eaten five after eight minutes. It's Christmas. And I think I've just finally, I'm just a bit broken. <laughs> Anyway, Q&A. I went onto Instagram, I went onto Twitter and asked you lovely people for some questiones. Um, the first thing I'm going to say, actually, before I do the questions is, thanks so much in the past year, because it's going like, to be the last proper sit down one that's not a vlog. Thanks so much in the past year if you've supported me on this channel, for all your likes, all your comments, if you followed me on any of my other social media. I also, I'm just going to do this, in the middle of a middle, in a, an important speech, I feel there's a hair on the camera. Um, also, I really appreciate if you've liked or commented or engaged in any way in any of the ads that I do because the ads are what keeps the channel alive. So ever so often, it's always going to be the case, I'm going to have to have, have some ads because the money you make from YouTube ads actually is only a couple of hundred pounds a month. So if you, you know, like an ad, thumbs up an ad, comment an ad, that's really helpful and I really, really, really appreciate it. It means not only do I get to do my dream job and hang out with you lot all the time, but I also get to do my other dream job, which is hang out with my kids and I get to pick them up from school and that's just such a privilege. So, thank you. End of cheesy um, speech. So I'm gonna go some, I'm gonna do some, I had so many questions. <laughs> I was really a little bit overwhelmed, so I'm going to try and do a few and um, answer some of your questions. So thanks so much if you asked one. Uh, so from Mrs Urban Giant, who has always been a big support of the channel, so thanks very much. She asked, would I ever go back to teaching? So if you're new to the channel, I was a teacher for 12 years. I taught RE in a school in the black country, which I really, really loved. And then I gave up to pursue blogging and vlogging full time. I fully intend to go back to teaching at some point. I'm not sure when, I'm not sure in what capacity, but I feel that in my 50s maybe, I might go back to doing university lecturing, but I feel like teaching is somewhere, is somewhere deep in my soul. From Beth Harrison, how do we budget for Disney trips and what is the best age to take our kids? So I go to lots of Disney trips. Um, if you go and have a look, there's a whole Disney playlist. I've just booked a Disneyland Paris trip next year with Nanny San and Erin. We're having a girls trip because um, Stephen's taking Ethan somewhere else. They're on a girls only trip and we're also going to Disney World. We took Ethan to Disneyland Paris from 10 months um, and Erin was two. I would say the best age to take kids to Disneyland Paris is probably two, two upwards. I think any younger than that, they are a little bit young, but um, we budget by, this is a really boring information, we budget by saving. Every month, Stephen and I put a proportion of our wages into saving. Or if you ever want me to know, we do a video on this. So we take a certain amount, same amount, it's been the same amount for years, and really too much information. The money we save in September, September, October, November and December, so four months of that money goes to Christmas and the two <clears throat> birthdays of the kids and their birthday parties and stuff. And then the rest of the month goes towards family holidays. So that's how we save. Is it boring? Is it adulting? Is adulting boring? Who knows? But there we go. Okay, so and this is from Chalmers H. Earlier on in the year, you were getting some horrible trolling. Has that improved now? So in the summer, um, it's the only time in my life that I've actually debated pressing the delete button across all my social media because I got fat shamed when a picture was uh, made thinner of me Instagram with hashtag you will die, which was very pleasant. Um, trolling kind of 
it goes in ups and downs. Usually about twice a year you'll get something pretty awful happen. Um, so that's not nice. Um, I'm, I'm due about another another go actually. I'm due another turn of uh, grim commenting. But it's part of the job and you just kind of have to put up with it. And if you can't put up with it then, that, then this maybe isn't the job for you. And this is from Miss Claudie98. Any chance you plan on having more kids? No. I wish I'd had three kids, but at the age of 41, I feel, personally for me, I might be a little bit too old. That's not saying that other people can't have babies that age, but for me, like, the gap between the two, they might be a bit big. It's just, it's just not right. And Stephen just really, really is adamant he does not want one. Um, Becky, all good. Do you and Stephen buy each other anything for Christmas? Yes, we do. We have a budget. Hello with the budget. We stick to a budget and we buy presents for within the budget. Generally, we go over a little bit, but we have budgets for Valentine's presents, birthdays and Christmas because that's how romantic me and Stephen are. We're just ridiculous, aren't we? Looby looby loo too. What is your fave thing about vlogging? She says, I love you, Em. I love you too. My favourite thing about vlogging is the fact that not only do I get to engage with loads of lovely people online, which I really love, and it kind of keeps me during the day and full. I just love it. Um, I also get to have memories. So last night I sat down and watched Vlogmas from 2015 and cried for 25 minutes because the kids are so small. So I just love the fact that even though the kids aren't in the videos as much as they used to be, because I'm conscious they're getting a bit older, um, that we've got these kind of memories. And that's just, that's just really like a really... Um, a precious thing to keep and I'm, I'm very honoured to have to have those videos even though I make myself Emma you are a great person for making videos for yourself thank you very much Emma I'm at I'm, I'm weird I'm so sorry put a bit of better light on okay following on from that question Ali Timo what made you start sharing your family life with strangers I don't know I started the blog because I wanted to write and get all my feelings out there and then I don't know I suppose have no idea it's weird I do share a lot of my life but then there's a small portion that I keep back so for example if the kids are any in any kind of like upset like I wouldn't put that out there like me and Stephen had a big massive row about something serious I wouldn't put that out there so I share kind of like um a little bit of an edited life but um you do see you do see quite a lot but I don't know it's weird isn't it I'm obviously a little bit of a strange person. So every Friday night on my Insta stories, I do a dance what with my Chinese takeaway. Yes, it sounds weird. That's what I do. Let me know if you watch it. Let me know any suggestions to dance to. I usually like to dance to 90s R&B. So um, what do we order from the Chinese? That is from Kay Logan. So from the Chinese, we go. Are you ready? Same order every week for about 15 years. <laughs> half rice, one half. Half chips, that makes a whole. Pop in a half chow mein, so you've got three halves, and then we have a curry sauce. It's the same with prawn crackers. It's the same. Sometimes I have a prawn chow mein, and that blows Steve's mind, but it's generally the same. Can you tell that I am a creature of habit? Uh, from country or coast, work goals for next year. My work goals for next year are, um, we've got new mugs coming out in January, we've got Valentine's mugs already designed, ordering today. I'm terrified, there's gonna be 500 of them. Also, exclusive, 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 tote bags. I've ordered 200 tote bags as well. So if you're not a muggle loving person, you might be a tote bag loving person. Uh, so more mugs. Still working with some, I still want to work with some great brands. I like producing content that you like. So when we did the Home Sense video recently and also the Wilco one and the JD Williams one, they just fitted in so well into my channel. And it was just such a pleasure to work with a brand that was just stuff I liked. I want to keep doing more of those. Uh, obviously we did Walt Disney World this year. I was just the dream. And I just want to be happy. I want to be happy and I don't want to be too stressed. And I just want to have a nice, life that's not very motivational is it maybe a book who the hecky hockey 
knows. This is from IG Abby XO. What was my dream job when I was younger? So what was mine, not hers. <laughs> so the dream job when I was younger was to work in public relations. So I wanted to be a PR girl. I used to sort of boy bands. Um, you may or may not know that about me. So from the age of 14 to 18, I used to love boy bands. So I'd have take that and Backstreet Boys and all the boy bands. I'd travel all around the country and the boy bands are always notoriously flanked with a man and a woman like their PR person. That's what I wanted to do. So I did media at university and then I actually became a PR person and I was crap at it. Terrible at it. I did it from the age of 21 to 25. It's terrible at it. So my dream job was, I wasn't good at my dream job. So then I became a teacher and I was good at teaching and then I did this. But I think my PR background has kind of helped me in this, this industry. But Sometimes you crap at your dream jobs and that's a bit depressing and then you just find something else. Okay, this is from Rosie, 262626, or 26, 26, 26. Is Stephen shy in real life or just on camera? Oh, I just actually hit myself in the face. Let's do that again. So, Stephen, I love him. The man, the myth, the legend. However, That might be my first sneeze. <laughs> I hit myself in the nose so hard that I actually sneezed. However, um, it's not that Stephen isn't quiet. And it's not that Stephen is quiet. It's just that Stephen um, doesn't really care. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Stephen, he, he, he doesn't want to impress loads of people. He doesn't want loads of friends. He doesn't. He's not like me. He's like, hey, the internet, you must all like me. He's like, I don't care about the internet. I don't want to be on anything. He is quite quiet, but then he will say things that are just cutting. Obviously, with his friends, he's not quiet. With my family, like, he he's a bit quiet. With me, he's not quiet. In the house, he's not quiet. I'd say Ethan is very much like Stephen as well. They are kind of like quiet souls in front of other people that when they're on their own you're like are you ever going to stop so um he just he just doesn't want to impress i said to him i was like right it's our 10 year wedding anniversary this weekend i'd like us to do a video about how we met da, 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 da. it's gonna be really good no i was like please people love it he was like no so you might get a video about me talking about how me and steven met without steven in it i might just put a cardboard cut out of gary barlow next to it it's just, he, I've just embraced it. Let me know in the comments the thing about your other half that annoys you or that's just kind of other people are baffled by. Um, okay, this is from Amy D 1608 What's your greatest achievement? I love your videos and kiddos. They're amazing. Thank you very much, Amy. My greatest achievement, let's put the children aside because obviously my children are my greatest achievement. Um... Things I'm really proud of is that I, obviously I've been poorly a couple of times in my life when I have been like in a wheelchair and stuff. And the second time I was in poorly, like I did have damage on my leg. I think my greatest achievement in life is just kind of like picking myself up and get back up again. Oh, 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 oh. So when kind of really bad things happen, I kind of go, mom and I just carry on uh, I think that's my greatest achievement just um carrying on do you hear the people sing I think again is that the third vlog I've sang Lame is in I'm gonna answer I'm gonna do three more questions I think I want to find like a real real juicy question we've got lots about Disney a few people have asked Stacey's asked and Hope has asked about my favorite thing about 2018 so my favorite thing about 2018 is Obviously, my Disney trip, so I went to Walt Disney World with Walt Disney World, which was just like, dream. I cried when I got that phone call. In fact, when I filmed this video, this time last year was when I got the phone call, sobbed. Um, that was really amazing. And also, the mugs were really amazing. I won a couple of awards, which were really, you know, really fantastic. Um, this year has been a really good year work-wise. That's been really, really good. This year has been a bit tough. Family wise, because Erin has had a couple of health issues, she's fine, don't worry, it's been sorted. But that has been been tough. So kind of like my highlight for me has been seeing her just just get on with it. She just gets on with it, she just cracks on and that's that's a real highlight as well. This is from Folle A Don't. 
Will you be hitting the boxes and day sales? Hell yes I will. Let me know in the comments if you want me, Nanny San, and Claire to do a video of Boxing Day. Because that's what we do on Boxing Day. We get up on Boxing Day morning, we have our breakfast. We don't even want our breakfast, we're just eating it. Fuel for the sales. And then we go to the sales. Last year, some of you saw me in the sales, we had photos in the lush queue. Because there's nothing I like more in life than cheap back bombs. So you will see me in that queue. This year, I am gonna take me 50 quid to those Lush Bath Bomb sales, and I'm gonna buy 50 quid's worth of sale Bath Bombs, and they're gonna keep me going for a year. That is my plan. Um, I mean, it's, I don't really have any aspirations for work or life, apart from to get the cheap Lush Bath Bombs. So yes, I will be doing Boxing Day sales, and let me know if you want a video. I'm sure last year we managed to go shopping, film it, and have it up on Boxing Day. Boosh! Because that's the kind of person I am. And the penultimate question from Alex431. Any update on non-mummy meetups? I work with a team called Paul and Grace. Hello if you're watching Paul and Grace. And Paul has some sort of plans for me to do some meetups in different parts of the country. Because I do a bi-monthly meetup in Birmingham. And I am thinking of maybe doing one in London. Perhaps one up north. So keep your eyes peeled. I was going to say keep your eyes posted. That don't make no sense. Okay, we're gonna end on a positive note. Um, this is from Leah Victoria Stocks. How are you always so happy and bubbly? Um, I have my moments where I'm not happy and bubbly. I have my moments where I'm weeping and shouting like the rest of the, you know, the universe. Ask Stephen. I'm sure he will give you a plethora of examples where I've been screaming at him. Um, I generally am quite a bubbly person because I think when you've been a little bit poorly and you've spent time in bed, you kind of see the pleasures in like the tiny magical moments. That's why I think I love Disney so much because like you, otherwise you won't take things for granted. I don't think take things for granted because at one point I couldn't get out of bed to take my kids to school. So now when I take my kids to school, even sometimes they drive me mad, I'm like, but at least I get to take them to school. So that's probably why I'm quite bubbly. I'm quite a gobby person, naturally. I'm quite talkative, I'm quite chatty. Sometimes to the point where I have my foot firmly shoved in my mouth because I've said something stupid and have offended lots of people. But um, I think kind of if I would give you any gift of my wisdom because I am 125 years old, I would say, Embrace who you are, be happy with who you are, don't try and be anybody else, comparison is the thief of joy, if you are kind of, your blinkers are going like that and you're starting to go, but they've got that or, but she looks like that or, he's doing that, you need to go, whoo, whoo, and just focus on yourself, you know. It's for example, these are tragic examples, like nobody's ever come to me and gone, Emma we'd like to produce merch with you, so I've produced my own merch. No one kind of ever came to me really and said, Emma, we'd like you to do these panels with mom. So I did my own events. So focus on yourself, do your own thing, and surround yourself by people that make you happy, no matter how silly they are, and always be silly, because I like being silly. There we go, the world's weirdest Q and A. <laughs> so the, as I said, this is the last kind of sit down video. There'll be a few more vlogs up before Christmas and then I'll be back with the Boxing Day haul and I haven't decided if I'm going to take a week off maybe or two weeks off over Christmas but I'll be back in 2019 with tote bags, mugs and a whole lot more Disney crap. If you do this video give it a thumbs up, high five if you want to subscribe, love you lots, good night.